Hey guys, what's up? It's our deck here, Old School Duels 12, everyone to call me. Coming at you with a deck profile of a deck that I've actually been very, very excited to play. And, you know, it's been out for a minute, but, you know, it just took me a minute to finally do decide to play it. Now that I have it, and I'm, as you can tell, there's only, this is the only proxy. Uh, and you, uh, I only proxy because it's just an expensive card to buy three of of it, and I just haven't got my hands on it. It is Super Quantums, and I'm so excited. Power Rangers, oh, it's like my childhood. So build, being able to build the deck and play it is a just a giant awesome love of mine. So we're gonna jump into it. The only proxy of the deck at the moment is the Red Layer. He's very important to the deck. Uh, I, since I don't have Red Layer, I can't play it competitively, or else I would totally play it competitively. Um, but I can't because I don't have Red Layers, uh, so it's just a for fun, casual thing with my friends. Um, but I do run th uh, three layer, uh, three red layer, uh, because he has he's your cyber dragon, he's your special summon, he's your playback, he's just everything rolled into one. He is two thousand level five monster, two thousand attack level five monster. My bad. When you control monsters, you can special summon him. Boom! Red layer on the field. Uh, when normal or special, you can add a super quant card from deck to hand. Uh, and it's when sent to Graveyard, you get to special summon a super quant monster. Except for himself, and its effects are negated. Or you cannot use its effects. Not negated. Its effects, you cannot use its effects. Specific wording, awkward, yes, I know. Next card I run is three green layer. Super quantum green layer or green ranger. Whatever you want to call him. Um, he is your mo he is your monster reborn, basically. Um, in a way, actually more like Red Layers from Monster Reborn, but he's your special summoner from hand. When no more special summoned, you get to special summon a Super Quant monster from your hand. If he's sent to Grave, you can discard a Super Quant card and draw one card. I rarely use the second effect, the Graveyard effect. I, I've used it every here and there just to go off with combos and to set up for plays. But for the most part, I only use him for the special summons and, or for the, yeah, the special summons to get Red Layer out and uh, to also get. Um, what else? Just to go for level fours, uh, rank four plays. Uh, super. The next card is Super Quantum Blue Layer or Blue Ranger. This is your searcher of the deck. Uh, also, I think it's the most resourceful because it's hardcore playback. Um, plus, it's your like I said, it's your searcher. When normal or special summoned, you get to search out one Super Quant card. Uh, so you can search out monster spells, monster spells or traps that are super quant. Um, plus, if it's sent to graveyard, uh, you can return up to three super quant cards. So you can send back the overlays, uh, the traps, spells, and monsters, which I think is the most resourceful one. Uh, like I said, red is you know my favorite card so far. Or actually, I lied. I love the bird. The bird. <laughs> the green zord is the best. Or is my favorite. Um, but blue layer is definitely the most resourceful and your most useful one. It is a psychic and is level 3, so obviously you already can tell I'm going to run intel uh, emergency teleport. Uh, the last super quantum monster in the main deck is super quantum fairy Alphon. Alphon is your uh, big play setupper. Um, plus, also, it has an interesting first effect. You target one super quantum monster you control that is face up, and every monster on field becomes that level. So I can target uh, Red Lair. Boom, every monster on field is now at level 5. It's good for uh, for just building up the overlays or going into your uh, generics, which I also, which, you know, you obviously have, can run generics. Um, so it's a good setup for generics. Um, but its second effect is really what I use it for. I can tribute this card and uh, reveal three different, uh, three super quant monsters with different names. So you can uh, reveal itself uh, for the most part. I mean, I've done it once or twice, but for the most part, I do one red, one blue, one green. And one of them gets special summoned, the other ones get sent to grave, and I get effects. The last monster of the main deck that I run is Sar Drawing. It's a, a tech card for me, just because I can use it for a rank 5 or a rank 4, um, but I get draw power off of it, hence the name Star Drawing. But that's the main reason why I run it. Uh, that takes care of all the monsters. We're going to move on to the spells. The spells, they don't have really, they only have one spell and one trap um, for you hardcore meta players. Um, but the first one is, you know, you play three Super Quantum Mech Ship Magnet Carrier. Some people say play two. I think three is good just because you want, 
it is how you get your big Zord, your big Mega Zord, and quick Zords. You can go like the old fashioned way, get two level threes, or you could just play the Zords, or just play the field card and get the Zords out faster. Uh, but I play three because you can discard one card, target a super quant monster you control, special summon from the extra deck a super quant mech, um, mech beast with the same attribute. So. I would target, say, I discard and I target green. I summon the wind uh, mech beast XYZ. Um, and if you have one, if you have at least three, or you target up to three mech beasts uh, with different names, and you special summon, uh, excuse me, you special summon uh, the front field and or grave, and you can just. Tribute this card and special summon the Megazord. So, say you have one on one Mech Beast on field and two in Grave with different names. You target all three of them, tribute the field card, special summon the Megazord. Simple as that. Uh, the next card I run is Emergency Teleport. Like I said, it's like like I said, uh, Blue Lair is a Psychic and is a level three and he's always recycling itself. Therefore, it's always going to be alive. Therefore, this card is. Always going to be alive. I've yet to run into a moment where this card is not alive. Uh, the, pretty standard. Most people will play, say, play three. Um, I play three reasoning. I actually saw a deck profile where someone said run two. I said, no, that's dumb. Why would you run two? Running three reasoning is beautiful for the deck because they all have grave, graveyard effects, except for Alphonse and Star Drawing. Um, plus, it's just three fives, three, or three fives, five fours, three threes and three ones so they could say four and then you get a five or you get a three boom or a one it's just works out perfect plus with the graveyard effects uh i run two terraforming just for the search of the field card plus i also run three of another field card which i'll explain when i get there um and then i run one one for one just to summon alphonse faster and one soul charge just for the playback plays now for the next card uh for the next uh, s seven cards are seven cards that I think uh, just thin out the deck. It's pretty standard if you want to run uh, deck thinning. Three chicken game, that's the other field cards. That's why I run two terraforming to search out that or the magna carrier. Three upstart goblin just for the draw power and one one day apiece. Uh, only because I can only run one day apiece or one of it. Uh, so that's just deck thinning just to make the deck smaller. So technically I run a 43 card or 43 a 33 card deck just so you can see your cards faster um yeah that's okay that's it for the spells we're gonna move on to the traps the traps are really small two fiendish changes because i want i always hated effect negation and it comes in handy a lot one super quantum mech sword magnus Sayer. i only run one just because one is enough it drops for game uh plus with the blue layer you can play it back anyway one Solemn Morning, one Grand Horn of Heaven, and one Bottomless Trap Hole. I want to make these, uh, grand, the Grand Horn and the Bottomless Trap Hole, I want to make them Solemn Strikes just because, um, but for now, they're just Grand Horns and a Bottomless Trap Hole. That takes care of the entire main deck. We're going to move on to the extra deck. I don't have a side deck for it yet, but once I get the red layers, then I'm definitely going to build a side deck so I can play it competitively. Uh, two... Super Quantum Mech Beast Ram Pulse. It's the Dolphin. It's the Blue Attribute. It's a rank 3. It's really fun. You know, it deals with spells and traps. One, Super Quantum Mech Beast Erebos, or Orobos, whatever you say. It's the Green Zord. It's a wind. It's a rank 4. It deals with face-up monsters. So, yeah. Uh, change it, or it changes the defense mode so it stops, you know, attacks. Uh, stops face-up or, or attack position effects. Really fun. My favorite because it's green. And um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, the next card is Super Quantum Mech Beast Magnus Slayer. It is the red rank 5 red zord. It's a lion. <laughs> um, it deals with monsters in general. Target a monster on the field, destroy it. Um, and the big mega zord. Super Quantum Mech King Great Magnus. The big trump card. It's a tower of the deck. It's basically... Of towers. If it has two or more, you can detach one during either player's turn and send uh you send one card on the field and shuffle it back in the deck. If it has four or more, it's unaffected except uh it's unaffected by card effects except by, by super quant card. So you can still use the giant sword on it. And if it has six or more, your opponent cannot add cards from their deck 
to the hand by card effects. So they can't use like stuff like Upstart. They can't search out cards, which is really fun and I love dealing with. It's hilarious. Uh, that's it for the super quant cards. Uh, for just generics, I run. Let's. I didn't put these things in order, which bothers me when they're not. One ghost trick alley card, just because I can do threes. One one oh one silent honor arc, cause silent, cause silent honor. One dark rebel and X Y Z dragon, just to deal with big monsters really fast. If they take out my, if I run out of. Uh, Kings, the Megazords, which is really rare, surprisingly. One Abyss Dweller to deal with Graveyard Effects. One Cowboy, because Cowboy for game. Uh, one Volcasaurus, because I can do fives. Why not? Deal some life point damage. Uh, and then one Thunder Gaia Dragon Thunder Charger, just because if the Mega, if I run out of, again, if I run out of, um, if I run out of Dragon, or Megazords, I can just throw this on top of the Magna Liger after I pop stuff and start building, dealing piercing damage, or I get Volcasaurus on field, and st once I'm done dealing damage with Volcasaurus, start dealing piercing damage and drop for game. Well, that is it for the the whole deck. I am so happy the Super Quants are out, and I'm really glad I'm building the deck. Um, like I s this deck, the only proxy, I'm going to reiterate, um, the only proxy in the deck is the Red Lair which I will have soon. I'm going to regionals pretty... I'm going to regionals really, really soon. So I'm hoping to pick them up there uh, and have the deck done. If I can't pick them up there, then I'm just going to end up buying it because why not? I don't want to at first, but if I can't get a hold of them easy, uh, then I'm just going to end up buying the card. Uh, but I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed making them. I am back. I am going to be making more videos, doing different things with the channel. Uh, so, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out all the other social media that I have. And thank you and have a wonderful, beautiful night, day, thing, or whatever.